guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. How my man Young Jock say, I know you see it. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That boy Jalen Hyatt was cooking tonight. I don't need to watch the second half. I done seen all I need to see. I done seen all I need to see. That's all Big Fist needed to see was Daniel Jones do Daniel Jones shit and Jayla Hyatt cook somebody. That's all I needed to see. I'm giddy. Yeah, I'm giddy. I can't wait for week one. I can't wait. I don't even know what to start. I don't know if I need to talk about 84 cooking people or if I just talk about number eight. You know, just like... I gotta start with Jalen Hyatt. I, I, I just, did you see that route? Did you see that post? Did you see him cut and lead a safety looking dumb? He had like eight yards of separation, bro. I mean, that was just beautiful. Welcome to the NFL, man. Welcome to the NFL. And this is the preseason running vanilla plays. He was in the slot. He ran that. That, that was a, basically a corner. That was like a corner route back of the end zone. It was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, my gosh, it was beautiful. And the touchdown celebration, just meditate. Just meditate on them. Just meditate on them, man. Oh, my gosh. Everything about that was perfect. Everything about that sequence was perfect, it, except for the offensive line. I don't know what the hell going on, but other than that, it's perfect. I feel bad for Tyrod. Tyrod was getting his ass beat tonight. I mean, for real, Tyrod earning that check tonight. Ain't even going to hold you. Tyrod is earning that check tonight. But, you know, look. Shout out to the NFL for thinking Jalen Hyatt didn't have a route tree. You know, shout out to y'all. Like, shout out to all the NFL scouts that said Jalen Hyatt didn't have a route tree. I mean, because I'm, I'm happy he's ours. I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy that y'all thought he sucked. That he couldn't run routes, that he was just fast. I'm so happy the rest of you 31 executives thought that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, man. This is going to be great. This season's going to be great. I can't wait. Did you see Daniel Jones? Daniel Jones, cool as the other side of the pillow. He just looks different. He feels different. Hey, just Daniel Jones is like, yo, like, you know when you lose your virginity? You know when your homeboy loses loses virginity? He just looked different. You know what I'm saying? When you finally smashed your first girl, you, you just look different. Or for all my men out here who making money right now, you know how you felt when you made your first hundred grand? You had that first hundred grand year? Or some of y'all who had that first million dollar year. Like, don't you just feel different when you got that financial security? You walk around different. You talk different. You look at the girls different. When you accomplish something or you level up in life, you just look different. You feel different. Okay? Daniel Jones looks and feels different. He's is no there's not there's not an ounce of panic in him. It is nothing but cool, calm, collective, sociopathic, psychopathic, murderistic thoughts going through his mind. Because Daniel Jones is an assassin. I call him John Wick Jones for a reason. That dude is cool, calm, and collective, but he's thinking of ways to murder you that haven't even been invented yet. Okay? Don't let the demeanor fool you. He's a killer. I'm getting, he's got them vibes, man. I'm loving it. Daniel Jones has got that. He just feels different, man. He was in control. He was quick with his decisions. And most importantly, that boy Darren Wilder can't be covered. Darren Wilder is just open all over the field. He caught three balls. It should have been four, but Von Bell smacked the hell out of him. I mean, it just looks great. 
and that was without Saquon. Jalen Hyatt wasn't really out there. We had Hodgins out there. We had Paris Campbell out there. Paris Campbell looked good, by the way, too. And I see Hodgins get his catch. It just the offense was surgical, man. It was mechanical. Like, you know, like this dude is Hitman 47. Daniel Jones is Hitman number eight. It was, he was just so cold with it. It's just, you got to watch it. He was so smooth. He was in control. He was the same guy that was in the Hugo Ball store. He was the same guy that you saw on the field. And that's what I like. I love that confidence. I love that swag. I love that he's in control of this offense. And most importantly, I love the fact that he actually has weapons for the first time of his life. It's going to be great, man. This season's going to be great. This season is going to be great. You know when a quarterback is in control. You know when a quarterback is in control. You could, it's a different feel watching a football team when your quarterback is in control. That quarterback that I saw in that Vikings game in the playoffs, oh, it's, that's the same quarterback I saw tonight. Remember, I was just like, yo, Danny just feels different. He's like, yo, he's just so, he's in control. Like, I can't really explain it. Everybody listening to this video, y'all know what I mean. You've seen Tom Brady. You've seen Peyton Manning. You've seen Aaron Rodgers. When a quarterback is in control, you saw Josh Allen in the playoff game versus New England. You saw him in Kansas City. When a quarterback is in control and he is comfortable in his offense and he knows that offense, everybody looks good. Everybody gets elevated because that quarterback is in control. He's not thinking, he's reacting, and that's all you can hope for. It's coming easy to Danny right now. He's got his financial security. He's got a coach with a brain. He's got playmakers everywhere. He's primed for 30 plus, man. 30 plus easy. He's primed for 30 plus easy, man. I told y'all this offense is gonna be hell, y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all we gonna have we got 07 Patriot vibes, man. We got 07 Patriot vibes out here. That dude Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt about to catch like a bomb a week, yo. I can see it now. Jalen Hyatt about to catch a bomb a week. Y'all better be ready. Y'all better be ready. Eagles, Cowboys, Redskins. <laughs> y'all, y'all better be ready, man. Y'all better be ready. That boy Jalen Hyatt about to be cooking y'all like breakfast, like breakfast, baby. He about to cook y'all like sausage, eggs, and, and biscuits. And grits, and, and 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 you know what I'm saying some ham, and a, and a, and a glass of orange juice, and some toast. Yeah, now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. But anyway, that's it. That's all, man. Um, one more thing. Bryce Young is gonna have a bad year. I'm sorry. He don't look. Something about this Bryce Young don't look right. I'm not saying it's him. It could just be he has a bad team around him. But I don't know. Our defense is looking shaky. And Bryce Young still looked like he was. He looked, He looked. wasn't in control. Bryce Young does not look in control. He's thinking too much. He's the opposite of what we saw for Daniel Jones. But anyway, this is a Giants channel. Same about the Panthers. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message. <laughs>